Hello friends! Hello other teachers from the bunny room and the kangaroo room. Hello to parents and siblings. Hello to my dog who likes to come over and help me when I'm making videos and activities. Just me. Just me in the video. Oh, I think he wants to play first. Give him some, some scratches and some pets. <laughs> and then he'll probably go lay down. Go lay down, buddy. Go. Go. Thank you. Hi. Bunny and kangaroo friends. We are still learning all about nature this week. Tell me, have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky? Sometimes, when it's a sunny day, when there's a little bit of rain mixed with the sun, you might look up and see something kind of like this. This is one I drew with some crayons and paper, but it has all the colors you see in a rainbow. On top, there's red, then orange, yellow and green, blue and purple. And today, we're gonna go out, gonna go on a walk uh, around where I live in Syracuse and see what we can find for all the colors of the rainbow. Some red things, some orange and yellow things, green and blue and purple things. Now, when I'm out there, I'm gonna look a little bit different because I'm walking around with my neighbors and other people, other kids, other dogs. I'm gonna stay healthy and have my mask on. And you'll see me on video with this on, talking about the different colors of things that we see. And then I'll come back inside, we'll talk a little bit more, and our activity will be all done. Thanks friends, let's go see what we can find. Hey friends, what is the first color that's on top of our rainbow? When we look at it, one color is going to be on top, it's the color red. Do you see something red that's behind me, that's over my head? I see a stop sign. This helps the cars and the trucks that drive around on the streets to be safe and take turns in their driving. And if we walk a little bit more, if we look down, there's something else. Right down this way. What's this red thing? We saw, it came to Juonio in the spring, a fire truck that we got to, got to walk through, we got to see. And this is a fire hydrant. They use a big tool to open this up. They put a hose on it and the water can come out and help put out the fires. So we just saw two very cool red things. Let's keep looking for more colors from our rainbow. After red in the rainbow comes orange. And I see right behind me, right by this big building, I see an orange pointy. Do we know the name for that? This is a cone. It can mark different places. This one has some white and silver stripes on it. It's pretty tall too. This is an orange cone that I see in my neighborhood in Syracuse. After orange, we're gonna go look for yellow. See you again soon. Now friends, I see something yellow. This time it's not up, it's not over here, not over there. I have to look down on the sidewalk and I can see a, a yellow stripe that moves along the sidewalk. Can we practice walking along the yellow line and balance with our feet on there? Let's try. One step forward and two, oh, three steps, four steps, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps, and the line keeps going and going on the sidewalk. Hi, friends. After yellow on the rainbow comes green. So we are here with a tree, a pretty tall tree, way taller than I am. And this one's special because it doesn't have leaves like some trees do. This one has long pointy things called needles. This is a pine tree with needles. 
But if we look around, we can see green grass, lots of other trees, other plants too, lots of plants and green all around us, whether we're in the forest or whether we are in the city. Thanks, friends. When I want to see something blue, I can look up, look up and see what's up there. There's a big blue, big blue sky with some white fluffy clouds, Ooh, with some gray clouds too that might make some rain later. But the part without, without clouds is the big blue sky. Ooh. And I have my bl blue mask on. And if you look over here, there's some blue cars too. Lots of blue in front of me right now. The last color, the bottom of our rainbow, is purple. Today I have my purple shirt, and if I look up, I can see some purple flowers. These ones are in a plant that's hanging from the post. Often you see flowers growing in the ground, some trees have flowers, these ones are high up above. Flowers comes in, come in lots of colors. Purple is just one of them. What are some other flowers that you can see? Thanks, friends. Hi. Our walk outside is all done. Let's talk about the different colors of things that we found. Remember that we went in the same order of the rainbow? We looked for red things first and saw a... What were red things? Ooh. My dog's gonna come help again. Hi. Excuse us. <laughs> we looked for red things. Excuse us. We looked for red things and saw a stop sign and a fire hydrant. We looked for something orange and there was a pointy cone on the sidewalk. For yellow, there was a stripe that we walked and balanced along. There were lots of different green trees and leaves and plants. For blue, we looked up above our heads and saw the big blue sky. And for purple, in a basket hanging from a pole, there were some purple flowers. Now you can go on a walk with your family too and look for the colors. Or maybe you can look inside your house. You can find the colors of a rainbow in some toys. These are the, the stacking bears, the, the bear blocks from the bunny room. You can find red strawberries, yellow lemons and orange carrots, a green zucchini, blue little blueberries like that, and a purple onion. You can find food in the different colors of the rainbow or even books, red and orange and yellow, green and blue and purple books. Books like Froggy, or maybe a science book about frogs. Mm, looks pretty fun. Whatever you look for with the colors, hope you have lots of fun. Hope you stay safe and learn a lot, and I'll talk to you and have another activity soon. Goodbye, friends.